Uh, initially, I think when the pandemic uh, surprised all of us, I think uh, the first react reaction was shock. I remember having conversations, the leadership here having conversations. So the, firmo, the first and the foremost, I think, priority was the safety of the students, very clearly. The first challenge that uh, stared right in front of our eyes was how do we go about teaching? Uh, and then finally, uh, we, uh, we decided to, to be with uh, Microsoft Teams. We didn't realize that we would need an audio enhancement uh, till the beginning of this semester uh, because we had a, a completely a different set of problems. I think one of the biggest challenge for us was uh, addressing students who are on campus and students who are online. Before the, before the installation of the mics, I actually had to speak a lot louder because I was wearing a mask and there was a two meter physical distancing between me and the students. So by the time uh, I, I, I reached the last person, I, I, I had to really uh, pretty much scream probably, I would say. I was also probably physically uh, locked to one place because I'm speaking in front of a laptop. So I did not have the freedom to move around at all. I just had to sit down and, and teach, which for me was kind of difficult because I'm, I'm used to walking around a little bit and, you know, and, and using my body while I teach. We started working with Manipal a few years ago and uh, we had different occasion to collaborate with them. Uh, recently with, uh, with this situation, they got in touch asking uh, for um, some suggestions for their studio for broadcast uh, for teaching broadcast students, but then it turned out that they also had a problem uh, during regular lessons for the classrooms. If somebody in the class asked a question, I had to repeat that question again so that the students at home could hear it because the laptop's mic was not picking it up from a distance. And if somebody from home asks a question again, I'll have to repeat it in class so the rest of the class could uh, could hear it. We started thinking about the potential of uh, our MXA uh, solution that now offers more than it was offering uh, one or two years ago. We installed uh, two MXA 910, one uh, P300 DSP processor and uh, our sitting speakers. In this room uh, we, we have a two-way communication uh, for voice lifts and for remote learning. With the voice lift and the microphone installed in class, it was actually much easier. The uh, one thing was the voice was reaching everybody, even towards the back of the class. And I actually had the freedom to move around uh, from, you know, just around my table only, but I just didn't have to sit right in front of the system, but I could actually uh, move around a bit. In fact, the first class, what happened was a, a student was sitting right at the back and asked a question and suddenly somebody from one of the online students suddenly just jumped and asked, wait, he's sitting so far, but how can you hear him? like so close, at which point then I ended up actually explaining to them what we had done in the classroom in terms of the uh, entire uh, installation. So we have two microphones uh, that are both used for, uh, for voice lift. So not only the students can learn better the teacher, but also vice versa. And uh, the same thing applies to VC. So both microphones are going uh, into the codec and then the voice of the uh, students from home are going to our, towards the speaker so everybody can listen to them. Uh, in this specific scenario, uh, we needed uh, to make a system extremely flexible because every teacher was bringing in uh, their own device, their own laptop, and uh, we had the P300 that was working uh, um, as a connection bridge between the system and uh, the codec software that is uh, Microsoft Teams in this case, one of the different codecs we have a certification for. So there was definitely a, a, a big difference for online students, as well as students in class actually. Even for them, they could hear much clearer. 